On the night of November 22nd, 1883, a widowed white woman in Birmingham, Alabama was allegedly awakened by rustling from an intruder, and just as she started to scream, the man put a hand over her mouth. Her children, asleep in the same room, were awakened by the scuffle and started yelling when the man fled through an open window. When she reported the incident to police the next day, she claimed that the black man had ran towards the Louisville and Nashville Railroad Roundhouse, where she believed he might work. After interviewing a few workers, the police brought 20-year-old black man Louis Hugh Houston to the widow's home, where upon seeing him, she screamed, that's the man, that's the man. Houston was then taken to the Jefferson County Jail, where a writer for the Birmingham Iron Age newspaper interviewed him in his cell, reporting that he maintained his innocence and was able to prove that he was asleep in his room when the assault was taking place. On November 24, 1883, around 10.30 p.m., a group of 150 masked white men overpowered the jailer, took Houston out of his cell, and dragged him from the jail on 4th Avenue North to Capitol Park, now known as Lynn Park. The attendance was the same writer that had interviewed him the day before. The mob took Houston to a pine tree in the park and told him to confess to raping the white woman. Houston responded, quote, gentlemen, before God, I didn't do it, unquote. Following this, the mob adjusted the rope around his neck while he continued to profess his innocence. His last words as he was being raised were, Jesus, take me home. When Houston's body stopped moving, the crowd quickly dispersed. The whole incident took less than 45 minutes. No one was ever arrested, let alone charged, in connection to the lynching of Lewis Houston, despite an investigation.